Okay. Hello everyone, this is CS260. We are in week three. And this week we will talk about a sing singly linked lists um, and double linked lists as a new data structure. Um, and from the Zy books, you can see the definition of a singly linked list, where it's basically a structure in C++ that contains a value typically uh, for example, integer, and then the data structure itself also contain a pointer to the next node, and then so on and so forth. So this picture shows you how a single linked list works. Right? So typically, um, when you create a linked list, single linked list, you can um, first of all create the head node, and then the head node contains um, the data and then also the pointer to the next node, the next until it, it become a no pointer, which is the end of the node. Okay. And it talks about how to insert a node, delete the node and uh, um, to search for a node. So to truly um, grasp the, the essence of how you manipulate the data in linked list, we can demonstrate this from a example uh, problems. So a typical, um, you know, interview question and linked list is how to give it, give you a linked list. How can you reverse it? Okay. Um, so first of all, let's define a structure of a list node. Okay. And that list node contains, um, a integer value, okay? And also it has a pointer to the next node, okay? And I'm gonna define some constructors so that I can easily create some this node. Um, one constructor is the you know, default constructor Oops, if I can spell it correctly. Um, and it has some initialized values to zero. Um, and then I have a next pointer, which is a new pointer. Um, and that's a default constructor. And then I have a, oops, come on. That's, that's really, why he's doing that? Okay. Um, Another constructor, which you can specify the value directly in that constructor. And then I'm gonna initialize that value with the new pointer to indicate that's the single node, right? Um, and of course I have um, another constructor that will allow you to input both the value and the pointer to the next uh, list node, I call it next. Okay. And that constructor will initialize both the value and next pointer, which is simply the next. Okay, so we got this single link list defined. Oops, we need a semicolon here, All right? Um, any, uh, details matters. Okay, so we're gonna implement a class. Okay, basically is a solution to our problem. And, and in, in that I have a public method that we're gonna implement. We'll return a list node um, and we'll reverse the linked list with the parameter, we only need the uh, head of the linked list to be able to iterate the whole list. So that's something different than the array or vector where you know you um, you can access the element um, by indexing, right? You can randomly access like uh, list one, list three, list five, and they all take the same constant operation, but in linked list is different in that um, 
you you can't e you can't easily um, say randomly access the, um, the middle of the list for for example right you have to go the you know, start from the head and then either it's through um, the element one by one until you find that element you're looking for okay so so we want to have to implement how to reverse the linked list okay. Um, and before we even do that, right, let's implement a helper function to print, oops, print the list, okay, so that we can, we can uh, debug and see what's going on here. So we define the helper function. Um, and that help function will enable us to print element in the list, right? So it's a, it's, a, it's a good practice. So I'm gonna assign, this is a common practice, a temporary uh, pointer to point to the head because I don't want to uh, disturb the uh, actual linked list that's passed to me. Okay, I want to uh, just use, because uh, I'm gonna iterate through that, right? Um, that's the pointer to be moved to the next. So, and two, this is common pattern here, to iterate through the while loop. If the, um, the pointer is not new. That means I'm not at the end of the list yet. Um, and I'm gonna print uh, the value, right? Um, which is the um, value of the, of the list. Okay, I'm gonna do some formatting here. So I want to print, for example, um, like that, right? If there's one, two, three, um, four, and so on, right? So I want to print in this format. Okay, so for each uh, values, I'm gonna um, concatenate uh, this arrow key, okay? Um, so, you know, if, if four, okay, so if let's add one more element, five, okay? If five is the last element, the next is, no, right? So that's just the using no pointer. Okay. So next is no. Um, so we, we don't want to print no here, right? Um, so, so we have to differentiate if it's the last no, right? So if my current current is not no, but if if I'm the last no, right? That means if my next is not a no pointer, okay? If the, my next is not no pointer, that means I'm not at the end of element, then I can print this with the arrow key. Otherwise, if I'm the end of the list, I'm the last element, um, so I don't need to print the arrow key, right, per se. So I, I just stop there if it's a five. So I'm gonna just do, um, the value only without um, without the arrow, but I'm gonna end with the end of line character, which is you know, basically new line character. Okay, so that's my print statement. Okay, let's see what if. So that's a print statement. Okay, um, is that? Uh, make sure that all the parentheses matched. Okay, we need a semicolon here, don't forget. So we define a class and we have a print function, right? Um, for now, we're gonna just uh, ignore this, right? Ignore this. Uh, we can just return um, new pointer. Okay, so we have to implement this. We just uh, want to, um, test this, right? So let me write the main function. So this is also a um, test-driven development, right? We write some test code before we even implement this solution here. Um, so, so we um, get a solution instance and we get create some list, right? Um, let's create 
like one, um, two. I'm using a constructor that takes two parameters, right? A value and the next pointer to a new element, which I'm creating um, here right now. Okay, I'm gonna create five nodes. All right, so you can also create one node and do an insert method, right? Just like what they did in the textbook, but I'm just, you know, do a quick, dirty way of creating this node. So I'm gonna um, do some formatting here. Say I'm gonna reverse uh, a link list. Okay, and then all right, and then um, I'm gonna print the list first with the reference to the head. Okay. So so far, you know, we just just to print out this. Let's just run it. Um, there is errors, and what is that? Use anti credit identifier STD. Okay, interesting. Oh yeah, I haven't included the, the library yet. Sorry. So you have to include the basic li library, right? Include IO stream. That's the library we need. Okay, so now it should work. Oh, look at that. There is some interesting thing. Um, I guess. Oh yeah, no, no, what? Um, forgot one thing. You have to keep uh, increment this pointer, otherwise it will be a, a um, infinite loop, right? So be careful about this. So temp equal to temp next. You have to advance to the next node because if you don't have this, then you will always uh, stay at one and the temp is, is will always be um, not a no pointer. So this while loop will be even the loop. So don't don't forget to add this uh, advanced um, statement here, so you can move the pointer to the next level. All right. Uh, hold down. What's going on? Let's see. Uh, let's close this. It might have crashed. Oops. Okay. Yeah, here you go. You can see reverse the link list one, two, three, four, five. So I we have a five element list. So now let's talk about the how to reverse it. Okay, so we are introduced two different uh, concept. One is iterative, one is recursive. So for the iterative way, right, um, we need to think about the relationship between um, those nodes, okay, um, and also deal with some special case here. Um, let's see. So if we have one, two, three, let's just say uh, we have three nodes, right? Um, and we want to, so say you are starting at one, right? Um, starting the one, we, our, our end results will be um, the one, instead of pointing to two, is gonna point to what? One is gonna be the last element, right? So it's gonna point to the new pointer. I'm gonna just reverse it, right? So new pointer, one point to there, and then um, so so the next is the two, right? So we're gonna reverse the two here as well, and then reverse the end result is gonna be three, two, one, and new. Okay, so that's the thing we want to achieve. 
So how do how are we gonna do that, right? Um, so let's say, um, so you, when you're manipulating these pointers, be careful not to lose them, right? If you lose them, you, it's it's leaked. For, memory is leaked forever. You can you can't recruit them. So you have to be careful to get hold of the pointer before you switch directions. So let's say, okay, um, I will have. So the concept is, I will have uh, three pointers to track the uh, you know the previous one, the current one, and the next one. So we have to this concept of the pre pointer and the current pointer and the next pointer, okay? So we have these three variables. So let's create them. List node um, pre. Initially, what the value we're gonna assign to pre? Well, there's nothing in front of the first node, right? It's, but after reverse, it's gonna be new. So the pre will be no pointer, right? So that's the pre initially, okay? And how about the current node? Um, the current node is basically pointing to the current head, isn't it? Right, it's the one in this case. And then I'm gonna do a while loop. While the current is not equal to New pointer. So basically, I'm going to iterate until the current nodes point to a new pointer. That's that's that means I'm reaching at the end of the node, and he's next. Actually, the hidden one is new pointer, right? So that's the that's the default. Okay, if you look at the this one, the next is default new pointer. So until current goes to uh, the end, I'm gonna you know, fix some some pointers. So first of all, I'm gonna get hold of the next pointer. We haven't looked at the next yet, right? So suppose the next pointer is our current next. Okay, do you understand this? So the current, if you know, we are starting the one and his next is two, right? I'm gonna get hold of this pointer to the next one because, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the pre, the pre is new point, right? Um, I'm gonna flip the direction of the, um, so I'm at current is number one and he's next is number two. I'm gonna save that to the next pointer. Okay, I'm gonna save the current next, the normal, in the normal direction, the current next is two, right? I'm saving that to the next. So now I can flip it. So by flipping it, I mean the current next is now I'm gonna define to pre. So instead of pointing to two, I'm gonna point to the previous one, which is new. Does it make sense? Now, the order of these two are important because if you do the current next and pre first, then you permanently, lose um, the, the actual uh, element that is after the, the current pointer, right? You cannot access anymore. So the order is important. So once you flip that, you can say pre equal to current. So basically you move the pre from new to one. Okay, pre current. And then current, you're gonna move to the next, okay? So you your currently become two because you already deal with one. After the first iteration, okay, what you got is this, right? New pointer is being pointed to by your first element and your pre moves to one, your current moves to two. Now, remember the two also have the link to all the rest of the node, right? So, um, is there anything between one and two? No, because temporarily your, your one is now pointing to the previous direction. So that's after this um, statement. Okay. So next round, um, your pre become one. So uh, when you get next three to the next, right? 
and then your current is two, his next is gonna be one. So after the next round, the two and one will be connected. Let me just do a one more round. Okay, so one and then two, right? This, this one is storing three now, right? And then the current next, the current is two, right? The second round, the current is two. He, you fix the point that he's next according to the pre, which is one, okay? So at any moment you have pre, current and next until your current goes to no, okay? Then you're out of the loop. So when you're out of the loop, what's it gonna return? Well, are you gonna return current? No, right? Because current is new pointer. So what is not new? Well, it must be pre, because pre will become the last element that is not new. So this pre will become your new head, right? At this point, you will get everything in order. One, two, three, four. Right, so this pre points to um, the last element, and that's a new head. And at this point, we finished um, reverse the whole link list. All right, so these order are important. Okay, don't lose any pointer. So let's test it out. Um, let's test it out. Okay, so. Um, we got the original list, right? And I'm gonna call that function answer is equal to solution dot reverse uh, list. Is that reverse list? And pointing to the head. Okay. All right. And then I'm gonna print the new list. Answer. Um, run. Okay, as you can see, we reverse link list here one, two, three, four, five. Now it's five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we accomplished the task. All right, so this is a really um, something that if you understand how to do that, you kind of, I think you mastered the. the um, link single way link list. Now there's another way of thinking about this, which is a recursive thinking. So the recursive thinking is really neat. Um, let's uh, start. So a recursive function is a function that calling itself uh, uh, again and again, okay? You may ask, okay, if the function is calling itself again and again, how can you know that when this, function is or well, end? That's a very good question. So the way we can do it is because we have a base case, remember? Um, so the base case base usually is a like empty node or you know single, uh, single element list where you can deal with a trivial case and return something. So when it reaches the base case, it, it will end and it will return. And then um, it will propagate to the beginning um, you know, and, and finally solve the whole problem, right? So a recursive function call will pass the parameter, a different parameter every time you call the same function. The idea is you're reducing the bigger problem into a smaller problem. We, we call it uh, divide and conquer, okay, in computer science, all right? So the recursive thinking for this uh, reverse a linked list, let me, um, make a different name, so recursion, okay, recursive. And, and uh, so we want to think about the base case, right, in this case. What is our base case for the recursion? Um, well, I can argue that if the head is new, no, no pointer, or, had next, so if it's a single element, his next must be a new pointer, right? If that's the case, it's a base case. I can simply return the head. Think about it. 
if it's new, then it's already reversed, right? It's an empty pointer. So we just return empty. If it's a single element list, then it's already reversed, right? So we just return as is. So that's our trivial base case. Now, now it comes to um, non-base case, right? If there is a list of some lengths, for example, um, it's one, two, three, and four. So um, it's a non-single list. So now how are we gonna think of recursively? So we're gonna call this function again with the smaller set being, you know, I'm gonna single out the first element, right? And it's next is a smaller set or smaller list. So I can pass that. If we know how to reverse the smaller one, then we're gonna just deal with how to uh, take that result and append the first element to that result so that we can sort, uh, not sort, but the reverse the whole list, right? So the idea is we have a trust that our recursive function will, will be able to eventually figure out how to do the smaller case. So this, the second, you know, key point on the recursive function is to have a, a, a trust that this function will work, right? So we suppose the rest of the list other than the first node is already what? Is already reversed, right? So we are dealing with this situation where the first element is pointing to the next element, but rest of the element is already what? Reversed. Okay. So if that's a case, if that's a case, how are we gonna fix the last pointer? That's what you're gonna focus on, right? Now, first of all, we're gonna have to uh, get this re reversed result. So we're gonna call this uh, function to get the rest of the, um, the list reversed. That's the recursive part, right? So we call ourselves, but we're passing in its next, right? So its next is two. So with the two, you get the rest of the uh, list, okay? So now we get the rest. Then the what rest is for as the rest is for the last element, right? Because that's a new head, so, you know? So the pose, uh, we got the last element, the rest. So we gonna, so, so then we're gonna fix this pointer, right? We can fix this pointer so that uh, we can have um, this one, right? Um, new, one, okay, two, uh, three, four, right? Let me use two double slashes. Okay, um, yeah. All right, so this is the uh, um, end result. So how to achieve that? Well, we're gonna fix the first element, okay? So the rest of them are already uh, reversed. So the first element, which is our head, right? Or even head is still there. We didn't do anything to disturb it. He's next. He's already next is number two, right? Okay, he's next is number two. But number two's next, right? was pointing to number three. So his next should now be pointing to head. We, by this sentence, we reverse this pointer. Are we done yet? No, because the head, his next is, was original point to number two. We're gonna reverse that too. We said head is next is equal to, sorry, equal to no pointer. 
So we now fix the first element by doing that. So after that, we're gonna return what? Return the rest, right? Because we want to just return the new head of the reverse list, which is the rest. Okay, so this is a recursive function and I believe that will work as well. Let's try it. So what we can do is we can compare, right? So let's just uh, do that reverse, uh, uh, reverse, here's the recursion. I'm gonna do recursion, right? So this is two answers, answer one and answer two, point answer one. Um, and okay, let me just align it where well. So print list answer two. Okay, so um, let's run it. And you should be able to see, oh, there is a bug here. We only print one. So let's see what's going on. Mm, this node rest is in my head next. Yeah, this one can head. Uh, hold on. Had. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's just uh, temporarily uh, disable that. Just, just do the answer to. Okay. Uh, okay, that works. Five, four, three, two, one. I think uh, by. Um, passing the head, you actually already reversed this uh, once. So you get some, you know, you change this uh, head already. Um, anyway, so we're using two methods we get the same answer. That's the point. So again, I hope that by looking at this example, you get more understanding of how the uh, uh, link list works. All right, so that's it. Thank you and uh, see you next time. Bye.